Here are some more selections. Do you want the dark skin black penis or do you want the lighter skin brown penis? Yo, I want them all. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm buying one right now, actually, as we speak. Yo, Thailand's full of like phallic shaped like symbolisms and imageries. I'm gonna buy one tonight. I'm gonna have a good old time. I should, you know, I'm walking this mall right now and I see- Sorry, my camera was off, but they were literally fighting. They were beating the crap out of each other with these two uh, plastic weaponries, whatever the heck they were. They were just jabbing at each other, two young kids. Can you fight? Can you fight for me? No, they can't fight. <laughs> so, those two guys were fighting each other with like plastic or styrofoam swords and they were swinging it at each other's heads. Like, I swear to God, I saw fucking shit shipping out, like from the- the plastic weapons they were holding. And then the minute I walk up to them with my camera, I was like, hey, can you guys fight? They immediately shrivel up. And then they ran back to the store where they were fucking camping out from. What the fuck? Yo, you guys got weapons fucking swinging at each other's heads. What, you can't fucking, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Fight, God damn it. That's all I want to see. I want to see some Muay Thai here in Bangkok. Making this shop work for me after hours. It's about eight o'clock here. Making that design. Tommy Eats. I don't know why the fuck I put so much uh, effort into my branding now for a product that's never gonna be. But anyways, lo and behold, this shit's gonna be on my head soon. After hours, eight o'clock, working overtime here in Thai. Yo, this is some serious embroidery shit for the machine. Look at this. Look at this. They have they have the fucking writing upside down, and then they got this laser to point where it is, and then we got Big Boss here. Big Boss is making making the embroidery on my hat. Good job, Big Boss. Look at this fucking thread. Hey, yeah, you're damn right. Oh, something wrong with the thread. This is some serious fucking business. This reminds me of the sweatshops in Thai. <laughs> reminds me of the sweatshops in Thai where like I make these guys work over hours. I'm like, hey, work over hours for me. Oh, wow, yo, this thing's having a seizure right now. Don't put your finger... Oh, this guy's got to manually operate it. Oh, shit, so it's not as easy. I thought everything's automated. No. No, he's got to keep calibrating. Oh, gee. Yo, this machine's fucked up. I'm glad they didn't pay. Please hold still while we're experiencing technical difficulties. We don't know what the hell is going on right now. But yo, I better get my hat out of the walking out of this store. Oh, this machine is not having its day. It's like, yo, what the fuck is this Tommy guy? I ain't printing nothing for him. This machine's got artificial intelligence. I am prone with that brand. I know what that guy does. Oh, okay, he's changing the thread, as you can see here. Yo, this really reminds me of, like, a fucking sweatshop in Thai. That's what they do. So, like, ultimately, I kept them here, so they're working over hours for me. <laughs> I feel bad, but I don't feel bad because I think the amount they're charging me is kind of a ripoff. Maybe it's cheap in our standards, but I don't know how much they charge their local. Dude, I have all this machine. I have all these machines in this fucking shop right now just doing my work for me. Look at this. Completely fucking automated. Right. So this is how this machine works, okay? You got the text, right? Flipped upside down. And then um, the crosshair shows where the needle's at. And then, uh, obviously, this is how automation works, right? It's able to print, like, a thousand threads a minute. And then, it's, like, scanning its way through M right now, all right? And that is the middle letter of my name. Yo, get my fucking name right. You know who I am? Oh, it stopped. And ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the hardest workers of this shop. The two kids. They're just playing video games. Playing video games all day. They're like, yo, laugh is good. When mom and pa, when mom and pa owns a sweatshop, we're gonna just do wherever the fuck I want. The wealthy uh, second, third generations. The spoiled generation. They can afford luxuries like traveling around the world. What the fuck is wrong with these people? So this machine's finally fucking getting my name right. That took them a while. They were reluctant at first. But I'm the boss, I'm sorry. <laughs> took a whole fucking team to change the threads. How many Thai people does it take to change one thread? All right, we uh, so one hour later, I think this hat's finally done. <laughs> Hell yeah! Thank you, thank you for making my hat. Yeah, All right, yeah, no, no problem. He's putting some lighters over it. He's, uh, he's putting some. We're putting a sticker over it. Putting something to. Oh, uh, uh, okay. He's trying to pull out the extra threads with like sticking paper. Jeez, I literally kept these guys like past their fucking. Thank you very much. Now it's fuzzy.
I have like a work team of like 10 people that are working on my hand. I'm their only customer. Pandemics must have affected fucking small businesses real bad. Think about what China brought onto the world. Thank you, thank you very much. Yep. 380, you said? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Am I beautiful? Am I beautiful? Yeah, I'm very good. Yeah, very good. Oh, okay. The wife didn't want to call me beautiful because uh, the husband was listening. Look, 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 call me. Am, am I beautiful? Am I beautiful? 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 beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, no, no, me, me. No, no, not hat. Me, 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 beautiful. Not the hat. Okay, thank you. Thank you. May 2020, Bangkok, Thailand. We chose a good time to fucking come here. And here's one of the most hustling and bustling tourist attractions. Uh, under the state of fucking COVID lockdown, as we can see here. Wow, what a great international fucking place full of people. Let me get some fucking food. Oh, no, no, ravaged dogs. Ravaged dogs everywhere. I don't know if you can even see them. Yo, I'll make fucking dog food out of you. Get the fuck out of here. Nothing but fucking ravaged dogs. Uh, completely desolate. It's like a graveyard. We actually had to ask the guards to let us in because this place was actually closed. And they were like, okay, if you really want to go in here, we'll open up the fucking gate. No fucking business whatsoever. No business. Hello? Business good? Yeah. Oh, business is good. <laughs> He's definitely lying. Tons of fucking international people here. Look, look, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Make me food. Hello? Is anybody alive? On the next episode of I Am A COVID Denier, this is a hustling and bustling market, a weekend market that would otherwise be littered with people, nobody, all the businesses are dead, people have to tear down their fucking businesses, nothing is in operation, as you can tell, these would otherwise be booming businesses right now. But no, COVID is not real, they say. Hmm, no, it is not real. It doesn't tear down businesses. It doesn't fucking force families to file bankruptcies. It doesn't just happen everywhere in the world because there's a new world government that overreaches every third world country and forces them to do this. Never mind the fact that Thailand right now is building hospital beds on mobile grounds the way we would have like fucking portable classrooms. They're building out in the fucking fields because their fucking hospitals cannot sustain. But no, they just want you to see what they want you to see. So this whole bankruptcy of small businesses here in Co here in Thailand, in a fucking flourishing street market that should be littered with tourists, is just a government ploy. They just want you to see what they want you to see. They're in with Kim Jong-un. It's like those uh, fake convenience stores that they want you to see in North Korea. COVID is not real. Okay, you fucking spoiled brats. Fucking spoiled brats. Western ignorant fools. COVID is not real, but you know what is real? Buddha is real. You can tell from his face. Buddha is eternal. COVID is not eternal. Buddha is eternal. I am going to start indoctrinating all the Generation Zs of the West Buddha that you are real because they think COVID is not real. So you take advantage of their doubts right now and make them believe you. But Buddha, you will only have to give them three years until they start protesting against you too because they're bored with their shitty little sheltered lives and they like to doubt everything with disinformation. So, Buddha... They will only love you for three years. And then a fucking mess comes in.